whoever these people are, I don't think they would have started this if they did not think they had a very good chance of winning. Right? So, unfortunately, that not I'm being negative. It's acknowledging that our adversaries have had all the time they wanted and they have all the, you know, they have all the resources, the money, the share of voice, you know, the technical ability to censor, and then ultimately guns and ammo and the law. Right? So, we are facing a formidable. A uh, group of studios, really. I used to think there must be a scientific reason, but actually, I've now come to the conclusion it's uh, sort of more or less diabolical. It's literally like a spiritual war on the part of the psychopaths. It's obvious to most of us that there is a systematic uh, destruction going on now in what we would likely call the food supply chain, both mm -hmm. within the nation and internationally. Um, and that's not going to end well. And here's my guess, that since this is not an accident, and none of it's an accident, since mm -hmm. this is not an accident, there is a plan to reduce the food supply to the point that you are dependent upon the state to be fed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, they don't need to starve you, they just need to make the number of calories available a little bit less than you would want. And since that would give rise to food riots, um, then they'll, they will put in place either martial law or, or rationing. And rationing will be driven off digital ID. So this seems to me, why are they doing it? Because you have to eat and they'll say, no compliance, no food. So, so the warning is at least have, have minimal ways to extend your independence uh, on just in time supplies of say food, water, basic medicines uh, and a method of cooking. You know, something like that. If the power or the internet or the bank, you know, ATMs or the supermarkets, or any of those things happen, which I think sooner or later they could well do, make sure you've got some resilience because you can pause and think and decide how to execute your plan or what plan. I think you should speak to some people you trust literally with your life, whoever they are. Um, have that brave conversation about. You know, what happens if these nutcases like this doctor might need in his off his head? Well, just for a minute, let's imagine sure. he was right. Uh, what should we do? And, um, you know, basically, I would say, if you could, I would, I would coalesce on the biggest property that if you've got five friends and you're really both all worried, maybe plan B is you all bring some stuff and you scoot over there because now you're acting as a block. Maybe you've got 10, 15, 20 of you, sure. children, you know, older adults and so on. Uh, and that way, you, you'll support each other. You'll also be uh, much more cheerfully resilient. We can save ourselves. Only we can save ourselves. Absolutely. But you have to do something. Yeah. Right. So even if you even if you deal with it like this, I don't believe all this this guy is saying. But here's my here's a point actually. Uh, if if you follow what the government says, if I'm right, the downside is you you're going to lose your liberty and maybe your life. Right. Yes. It's the downside of following the official advice. What's the downside of following my advice? Maybe you'll get laughed at. Do you know what? You can put up with that. The downside of following me is really there isn't one. If you go to the upsides, there's no upside in the first situation. You'll be exactly where the globalists want you to be for whatever that fate is. The upside of what I'm saying is you, they don't know what you're going to do. They don't know what you're capable of. So That's a great uh, point. I, so I think at this stage, be lied to in a way that's smashed the world, killed maybe millions of people, the vaccines are dangerous, they keep going, they're suppressing people in you know, the home of free speech, for goodness sake. Um, so this is this cannot, this is not benign, it's certainly malign, it could be really serious. This is the time for you, I think. Take your courage in your hands and we'll put the lies document up or anything that I and Jane have said and use it to, to try and persuade yep. some people who are wavering. And Imagine if you could persuade five other people over the next fortnight. Thank you.